Man, I probably shouldn't even be spending tickets on any banner because we do have a Zombie Land, Zombie World collaboration coming up in the next few days, along with Ion. And Ion looks amazing with her three tiers of attack, illuminating the spell. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So, whenever that video drops, watch me move. I'm going to get her to like five star. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. Angela, you're already six star, but you are well on your way to becoming an awakened legend next to my Miyuki, Vivian, Kasumi, Phoebe. Let's go, baby. <laughs> ah. Illusion Connector. <laughs> I can't sometimes. What's going on, you guys? It's your guy, Senpai Rai. And as you see, the Zombie Land Saga collaboration, the first official collaboration of Illusion Connect, is officially open. So, I think that we have this girl right here, Miss Sakura Minamoto, available in the special, well, in the special summon. Right here. <laughs> oh, blue tickets. Zombie summon tickets. Interesting. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Apparently, she hits like a truck, everybody. <laughs> I can't. That's awesome. Okay, so. Having obtained every single character in this game. <laughs> let's not stop. So how can we obtain more? We can use zombie... Summon tickets right here that cost gems. Luckily, I've been stockpiling my gems for a while. I had no idea that they would take this route with it. I was actually expecting a red selected ticket banner. But, uh, well, in the next 24 hours, we should get Ion as well. And I know that she is definitely going to be on the selected ticket banner. But let's see what it's looking like. So, Sakura Miyamoto... <sighs> Astroth, Miyuki, and Ashwaya. Miyuki and Ashwaya would be fodder. So we're going with Sakura, Minamoto, or Astaroth. Now, both, well, Astaroth has her awakening. And we're going to have to go hard pressed, hardcore gems on this one in order to make the difference. And we have a little bit over 35k gems to make this happen, Captain. So, expensive <laughs> zombie ticket times 10 pull number one. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Uh, Sakura, you better be amazing. You better be. Well, she does. she's an AoE darkness that has 15 cost. And whenever she dies, her zombie gets 100% of her attack, defense, and HP. Reverts to single attacks after that. And if you also deploy Ai and Junko, which are the... Well, Junko is going to be the um, collab unit in the next week. And you can get AI out of the participation shop. And let's see who we got here. Come home, baby. Yeah, no, you'll want to. Astro! Well, I'm going to get you awakened around never o'clock. But we are starting to slowly build up in that direction. So, keep on moving with 4,000 gems per multi. And again, back to Sakura. Whenever she does hit for the AoE she causes something called bad luck and essentially at whenever you first get her it deals 60 percent of her attack damage to the opponent that it hits and it also adds a random debuff which is kind of interesting between stun silence attack negative 30 or defense negative 30 or maybe possibly getting her right here let's Talking about this is the kind of banner that you want to just chunk the deuces up in there quickly and get the hell out because this whole you could you could either go into the limited shop, which I'm not gonna do for this banner. Obviously, one copy is fine with me, and just jump out. So I'm not gonna cut this video just yet with tw a little bit over 21,000. So I'm gonna wait a day or so, and it did take me 40 multis or four multis, so 40 pulls. So let's see if Ion drops in the next 24 hours. Ready? Boom! That's when I'm gonna do the Ion banner. See if I can get her up to five star. But Minamoto Sakura done out of here.
Sometimes patient is a virtue. Sakura Minamoto. <laughs> because we just got the inheritance ion banner fashioned after Sir Lancelot, his damn self. And we also got an Annis and Jemmy white ticket banner, which is meh. Because we already got Jemmy up to six star. And here we go. Boot inscription of Bright Moon. Let's do something cool and activate this inscription that I have been holding on to because I apparently missed out on this one activation event and I have been unable to obtain the boot inscription of blazing sun not shining stars or moons something damn it <laughs> ah okay did not happen the way I wanted it to hopefully this banner will bless me in different ways okay ion you are amazing and I do like how you have the three tiers of attack and first tier it dispels invincibility. Second tier, column damage plus it does damage. And third tier is an AoE. And then your passive, you deal an additional yes, true damage, which ignores defense at the end of it. So, yeah, I want you in the banner. Oh. No. <laughs> no more zombie tickets for at least another week. Can't do it. Sakura. <sighs> Can't do it at all. Ion. Your time will come. But first, let's try to get, well, again, Jemmy's six star, this one right here. But, Anis, you will be a welcome further addition, because I already have one copy of you, but I have zero summon-type units, or uh, friend is five star. I need one more, because to obtain the next awakening for my Sakura Swordsman leader, I need, uh, I need two five stars summoners and Annis would be a nice investment and if i got another copy of jemmy on the way why not she'll eventually be awakened and as we all know an awakened character takes four copies after you get them to six star so second pull no luck to be had ah <laughs> okay it's fine i already got sakura minamoto in the <laughs> In the roster and we have a two percent chance it is a white ticket banner after all so she was the hard fish to catch but she again is in the roster and the other day i did a pvp showcase of selena and jason so check that out everybody is quite amazing and okay again i would have rather had anis another copy of anis to get her up to five stars for my next Sakura Swordsman Awakening leader. But why not? Eventually, Jemmy will be awakened because you can even farm for her in Arcana. They give you raw Arcana shards of her. Potentially. Not even joking. You. I don't want to see you again. <laughs> you took four multis. It's fine. You did not take seven. Uh, that's what I did to that. <laughs> Uh, actually, I didn't quite do. Uh, I didn't quite crush it with a truck. I would have if I would have nailed it first rip, but not the case. Hopefully, that will be the case with Ion. But as stated, I have 100 red tickets to get this girl, and 70 will get her at a 3% rate. But I need her, Angela. Awesome, Nicola. Eh, she's already six star, but she will eventually be awakened. And Hersey, uh, been, been awakened potential, so Ion or Angela, because getting close with Angela and Ion, you're just amazing. Plus, you will be able to help my Phoebe's invincibility, where I need five light or heal type units, and you deal true damage in three waves. Also, dispelling invincibility, so let's go. I am going to just throw resources at this banner, hopefully, until I get this girl five star. Again, I am not going into the shop. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen, Captain. And also, keep in mind that I have obtained every single banner unit available. I have been playing this game pretty much since day one. And uh, again, I am so happy that we have Ares PvP. Here we go. Second multi, which is guaranteed. 40% chance to get this Here's girl right nine. here. Ion, jump in the rank. Now, if I was the same person, I would stop right now. I absolutely would. But what fun is that? I ask you, in all seriousness. Uh, again, I mean, if I stopped right now, I'd have well over pity. 
for the next red banner, but keep on keeping on, keep on trucking, right? Sakura Minamoto. Uh, her, her AOE is interesting again. We do need more good dark types or dark types in general. Because I believe the only SSR ones we have are obviously Miyuki, which Miyuki is phenomenal. She belongs on pretty much every team. AoE plus Rage Control, plus if you have the Phoenix Codex on her, it also decreases damage res. I mean, she's awesome. And the other Dark, who is actually really good, I've been working on her, she's almost 5 star right now, is Seeger. So the game plan is I'm going to have Ion and Seeger do a little... Uh, light and dark sisterhood type of growing up together so they will both hopefully be five close to five star at the same time and again angela's been a side project because she's been six star oh no it's correct laura come on baby oh my god speak of the devil and she does appear or the battle maiden my beautiful valkyrie angela where you been hiding, baby? You, you've been hiding this whole time. And then, like, in the past week, I, I see at least two copies of you. What is going on? Whew. Okay. Quick break. And we will be right back. Back in for more punishment. Let's go. And we have 54 red tickets remaining. Did a couple dailies. Crack the heads on a few challenges. You know, the usual stuff. But we have one copy of Ion so far. And we copped one copy of Angela as well. So, those are the two units that I want. Again, Hersey would be the only fodder. Well, Hersey and... Ah... Uh, Percy and Bloody Mary would be the only two fodder cards, but again, Bloody Mary will get her. Well, that I just touched Pity. No face card or Pity unit because I already got her because this game is, well, it cleaned up the Pity system a little bit, a little bit, made it more refined and a little bit more clear, but it should be if you touch 70 no matter what. No matter how many copies you have of a unit yeah. thus far, you should automatically cop an extra copy. But... I wonder how they will fix that in the near future. That's what I'm talking about. What's that? Yeah. Level 80? For my second copy of Ion, I believe. So she will be at the very least four star. But that isn't good enough. Yep, 80 pulls. We are getting this brought up to five star. If it completely wipes my red ruby supply. Or wrong game. Not KOF all star. My red ticket supply. Ah. What is this? What is this gloriousness that I just so happen to stumble upon? Apparently, if you summon on Ion's banner 50 times, you get 30 shards of her. And if you go the full 100 route, you get another 30 shards. So 30 plus 30 is what? All my math wizards out there? Correct. 60. Why not throw me some red tickets? <laughs> Help in the loss of 100. So you're really only spending 98 red tickets, apparently, to get a final copy. And also to get this final copy of Ion, because again, she will be a wonderful addition to my team. I just need 20 more summons, and I have over 20 times red tickets. So, let's finish the summon portion of this video, and then I could jump into Arcana and show you both Ion and Sakura Minamoto's abilities in a non-PVP scenario but it should be enough to at least give you some kind of a visual aid when it comes to actually seeing what they can do. And again, I will at the very least have Ion completely, well, not completely maxed out, but five star. Day one, hour one, F with your boy. Uh, and apparently there we have it, a hundred pulls right here. So that should give me the extra copy over, but it has been a while since I've seen an SSR unit. Now, I should save these gems for the zombie ticket collab banner next week, but I'm going to keep going till I get an SSR. I'm stopping right here. I'm so stopping right here. That's happening. Come on, Angela. Ion. 
<laughs> you ain't gonna hit me with a oh no lord oh <laughs> yes okay so boom banner crushed to a sufficient degree let's jump right in grab the 30 more shards right there a white ticket right here a box of purple nothingness right here two more red tickets making the grand total up to 98 and finally the other 30 shards of ion boom baby let's get this brought up to five starredness right this very second or in the next few seconds you know how that goes what do we have here? Let's get her all the way up to, <laughs> to level 4 to 5. Awesome. I'm so happy I didn't accidentally run into a wild frontiva. I would have kind of um, made me had to cut the video if that were the whole situation that were to go down. But apparently, whenever you upgrade the lens, it obviously just boosts the tieredness damage. That ion inflicts. And again, the first one hits and just takes a shield. There you have it. Five star right here, right now. The second one does a row damage. And the third one hits everybody. Everybody, error, error, everybody. Now, time to show you both her and Sakura Minamoto in Arcana. Let's go. Time for the fun part, everybody. All righty. Now for the fun part of the video, everybody. Let's showcase Ion and Sakura Minamoto in, well, our camera. So let's drop her right now. And again, she is an AOE character. And whatever character she hits, let's see. All right. Their leader caught stun. And again, she has a chance to either stun, silence, or give an attack or defense by 30% negation, which is nice. So Hotaru caught the, uh, the game stun on that one. Uh, not quite yet. Let's throw down my awakened blade in the darkness, Kasumi herself. Ah, uh, she looks like she is just out know, of the void, just hacking and slashing everything to pieces. Guts from the iconic manga, Berserk style. Yeah, all that. All that, and a bag of potato chips, apparently. Do a little bit of rage control for me while I cast invincibility. And again, this is an arcana team. I'm trying to get shards, damn it. Do not judge me. And you killed my zombie. You did. And again, when Sakura dies, her zombie uh, comes to life, as you guys see, gaining uh, what is 100% of her attack, defense, and HP. But it can't attack. Or, I mean, it doesn't gain rage. Very strange. So, now we have, of course, Ion out. And Ion's interesting. Her first ability, again, uh, dispels shields. And the second one attacks in a column. And the third one is... Or, second one's a rope. The third one is an entire AoE, as you guys can see. But I thought this was a cooler way to show off, again, Sakura Minamoto and Ion's abilities. Now... Back to the show. Well, everybody, I think on that glorious note, I will end this video. Ha. Told you I would get this vivacious vixen up to five starredness. You're 3.14 centimeters closer than usual. You have something you want to say? Ha, I do. You're a total babe. And thank you for jumping in my roster. Five star style. That's a five-star bit, everybody. So, on everybody that's going in on the zombie land, zombie world, zombie whatever the hell collaboration, and or going on, in, on, in, on, on, in, <laughs> in, on Ion, I wish y'all the best of luck, and congratulations to everybody out there that obtains those specific characters, specifically the ones they are gunning for. And let me show you something real quick before I cut this video. Angela... Now, you are so close. 162 out of 240 right here. So, what's that? 78 more shards, and you will be the next character on my Awaken tier list. Right next to, well, Kasumi, Awakened. Miyuki, Awakened. Phoebe, Awakened. Well, Vivian, <laughs> Awakened. And, of course, I dropped a PvP on my last video featuring recently also awakened selena 
and of course Jason in again Ares Arena and that one is a PvP. So again, I am ending the video. Thank you all for tuning in. I have hope that y'all have thoroughly enjoyed my pulls. And this has been your guy, Senpai Rai. I'm out of here. Just like that. <laughs> ah, peace.